Mounds of construction debris clustered everywhere. The roads almost blocked, leaving residents of Shanzu area in North Coast lamenting. Over the construction of multi-million Dolphin Hotel, the residents are accusing the construction company of dumping excavated materials in undesignated areas. At least the county government of Mombasa says they gave the green light to renovate the premises. But a couple of weeks later, this has not happened. Instead, it is real construction forcing officials to halt the project. Construction works behind me at the Dolphin Hotel have just been halted. County administrators want the owners to first of all meet the requirements before resumption. We followed up and we didn't know who was doing it because it was being done in, um, in very unclear circumstances. Only for us to realize that the hotel or the owners or the developers that we had allowed for them to, to proceed and do some touch-ups are not actually doing touch-ups now. They are doing actually a complete makeover. They are putting up a new structure. The hotel has been linked to a senior jubilee politician. Everyone has to toe the law from the biggest to the smallest, from the shortest to the tallest. It doesn't matter where you come from, where you are, or who you are. The law has to take its course, and once the law takes its course, the constitution is behind us. This is a war we have won, and we are going to win again and again. Mombasa County physical planners add that the hotel's structural plan had not been approved by the county. Since Mimi kama mwana arakati, sita kubali na sito kubali, na bado tutapinga na nazidi kupinga kwamba, Hapa Mumbasani tunataka hiwe pasafi ambapo wageni wa inchi, wageni kutoka se mumbali inchini wanaeza fika na wafuraiye mazingira ambayo ni masafi. Umekujo kamuagwa kwa shamba ya shule kwa sababu sijui kuwa ni kwa sababu shule haina mtetezi ama ni kwa sababu within Mombasa area watu wa mazi, kuangalia mazingira hawajui kazi yao ama ni kitu gani. Efforts to get a comment from the construction farm were futile. His workers flatly refused to accord us an interview. Aside from blocking roads, residents claim that the project will also lead to air pollution. As, as, as at now, we have stopped the construction. We have summoned the contractor, and we have also issued uh, summons <coughs> for them to appear before our county court. The construction is under the auspices of AFCO Agencies Limited. Francis Ontomwa, KTN News.